Um, hi. Hi. Um, good night. Um, finally you're here. <laughs> um, are you okay? Um, where have you been? Is everything okay? Uh, well, it's just, um, you're arriving home almost midnight and I got a little worried, you know? Um, you didn't text me and, um, yeah. Okay, okay, you were busy. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> It's okay, I guess. Um, you're alright, and... Yeah, that's good. Uh, yes, I... I just stay awake. Why? Something... Something wrong with that? Yeah, I stay awake because... I was worried, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know that I have my exams tomorrow, but still, you know, you are not arriving home, and, uh, you know, a lot of things will happen, and I was trying to call you, but you didn't answer your phone, oh, yeah, your phone just died, okay, okay, <laughs> I see. Um, no, I'm, I'm fine, um, no, I just, I was just worried, I was just worried, you know, that's it. Yeah, I see, I see. No, it, you, you see, the last few days, uh, like, the last week actually, you're arriving home really, like, kind of late, and, um, No, you didn't woke me up, I, I'm not arguing about that, it's totally fine, but I just, actually I couldn't, couldn't sleep, I was, was still awake when you arrived, all these days, and, uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, uh, look, I don't want to sound so, um, I don't know how to say it, but I know it's not my business what you're doing. I know you're just probably just uh, going out somewhere, uh, hanging out, hanging out with your friends and all that stuff. But I was I was worried, you know. Uh, we're we're roommates, and yeah, yeah, just like that time when I. When I stay at my parents' house and I didn't, I didn't tell you, so you were really, really worried. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. Okay, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Don't worry. Just go to sleep, okay? Um, probably you're tired. So yeah, good night and sweet dreams, I guess. Yes, good night. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hello there. It's it's me. It's me again. Um look I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't want to bother you, but I was you know me. I, I'm sometimes I I overthink a lot and and I overthink about stupid stuff. So, but um, are you sure? Are you sure you're okay? Um, uh, it's everything okay? I mean, uh, there is a million reasons why you're coming home so late, and uh, it's not my business, of course. But probably. Probably something happened with you, uh, your family, or something, so, yeah, I just wanted to know that, uh, yeah. Well, um, 
I guess we're just... Uh, I mean, we're, we're friends, right? And we're, we're good friends, so we are... We're roommates and we have to... Worry uh, about each other and uh, take care of each other uh, in some way. Uh, if something happened to you, maybe I can help you or something. No? Are you sure? Okay, uh, okay, uh, I see, I see. Um, uh, good night, good night, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm, s I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, is this going to sound really awkward or weird, but I you were hanging out with someone? Uh, yeah, yeah, your friends, but I mean these days someone special Are you dating someone? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry if, if that sounds rude or I know it's I know it's not my business. It's not my problem and you don't have to tell me but I'm just asking you because are you dating someone? Yeah, I mean like have a boyfriend now or something? Uh, well, I... Last night I was still waiting for you and I saw... And I just ran to the window and see what's going on and... When you were coming home and... I just saw... A car... With a guy... And I don't know but it doesn't... It didn't seem like a... Like an Uber or taxi. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I... I see. I see. Uh, yes, I... I know him. He's from my... He's from my history class. Oh. W oh, so you're... So you're dating him? Not actually. What does that mean? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, I I mean, like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you don't know yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I saw this guy getting trying to get closer to you. And, oh my god, I I think it was really obvious that he was, he's interested in you. And he has some feelings for you. <sighs> that son of a... <clears throat> uh, n never mind, uh, sorry. <laughs> so, you were hanging out with that guy these days. I see. No, uh, uh, I mean, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, what? Why should I? Why should I care about that? It's, it's your, it's your problem. <laughs> I don't think he's a good person, but it's your problem. <laughs> so, oh my God, listen. I have to tell you this now, and I'm sorry if I'm gonna sound rude or uh, weird, and if this is so awkward or stupid, but I'm feeling that if I don't tell you this now, I'm gonna explode or I'm gonna, probably later it's gonna be too late. 
no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not jealous. I'm, what are you talking about? We're just roommates. I mean. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry. But yes, yes, I'm, I'm jealous. I'm so, so jealous. Um, I'm dying inside now. I've been suffering all these days, just thinking about the idea of you interested in another guy. And, uh, and I know I don't have the right or I'm not in some position to talk or get mad or get mad because of this because I haven't because I haven't told you anything we're not anything we're just friends and you're free to to hang out with with someone but and I know I haven't had the courage to tell you the truth to tell you tell you what I feel for you and I didn't want it to do that I didn't want to do that all this time because I knew it's gonna it could be so terrible for our friendship for because we're roommates we are we have to be like stay this professionally <laughs> kind of uh, just like friends who are sharing an apartment but but I can't I can't I can't deny my feelings I've been I've been feeling a lot for you this whole time even before we're living together since high school I think I remember I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I know this is probably this is something so awkward and uncomfortable and like dumb for you, but just had to tell you that. I know that maybe you don't feel the same way, but I feel that if I don't tell you this. If I keep it to myself, if I keep this as a secret, I will die. I will never forgive me about this. I will forever regret that. <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't have to say something. It's, it's okay. Just, uh, just go to sleep and just let's just pretend that this conversation have never happened. So yeah, good night, I guess. What? What do you mean? What do you mean that you knew it? Oh my god.